having trouble looking for a VPN for streaming? I can see it. There are too many options with outrageous claims and little evidence. So here I am after testing all the big name providers ready to show you what is the best streaming VPN you can get in 2023. And I even went through the trouble of finding the best discounts. So check them in the description. Now, to be clear, when testing these providers, I first checked if the streaming VPN can access the platform, the variety of accessible servers, and the connection speed. Finally, one disclaimer, with VPNs for streaming, you won't get free access to streaming platforms. You still need a working subscription. So even with the best Netflix VPN, you still need a separate Netflix account. With that out of the way, my first suggestion is NordVPN. With NordVPN, I have access to more than 5,500 servers spread across 60 countries. This includes popular streaming locations like the US, UK, Japan, and a lot of European and South American countries. Naturally, I tried to watch some shows only available in those regions, and so far, the only content I can't access is NBN Disney Plus Hotstar due to India's new policy on VPNs. At the same time, I've had no issues with European or Asian platforms. Other than that, a bit slower speed on the latter. You can see for yourself, while getting access to the US or UK servers leaves me with most of my baseline speed, Japanese servers in particular get a slower connection. I'm not saying that it's impossible to stream with this speed, but it's definitely going to be less comfortable in comparison. Talking about comfort, I value the Smart Play feature since it lets me use NordVPN with smart TVs and consoles, even if there are no apps for these devices. Considering that one account is enough for six simultaneous connections, I can even share this account with my friends, unlike, you know, my Netflix account these days. Talking about price, NordVPN can get a bit pricey, especially since you need not just the best VPN for Netflix, but a Netflix subscription as well. That's why I recommend getting a discount link for NordVPN, like the one you can find in the description below. One more VPN for streaming I can recommend is Surfshark. It is a bit different from NordVPN. To begin with, it has fewer servers, around 3,200 versus the NordVPN's 5,500. However, Surfshark offsets that by having way more locations available. I can reach 100 countries in total. Naturally, this also means that Surfshark has access to more local content than NordVPN. While it's a great VPN for Netflix and other common platforms, I personally used Surfshark for less accessible platforms like Disney Plus Hotstar. When it comes to performance, Surfshark is not as fast as NordVPN, that's for sure. Still, I've had no significant speed bumps, lags, or slowdowns. And not only in the most popular destinations, my speeds in India and Japan were also quite functioning. Surfshark also has Smart DNS, a feature extending VPN coverage to usually incompatible devices like certain smart TVs or gaming consoles. And unlike NordVPN, Surfshark has no simultaneous connection limits. I can share this account with all my friends and that's pretty much what I do already. This is good value overall, especially if you consider that Surfshark is more affordable than NordVPN. One more best VPN for streaming is Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN was made for mobile devices, and I find it to be most comfortable for mobile streaming. It might only have 750 servers in 42 countries, but in my experience, it covers all popular streaming locations. Besides simply covering these locations, I've had no problems connecting to the platforms as well, and I've tested a lot of options. Certainly, Atlas VPN is slower than NordVPN or Surfshark, but it's fast enough to watch streams in high definition. Moreover, it also has unlimited device connections like Surfshark, and it's even more affordable in comparison. So if you're looking for a good streaming VPN or just Netflix VPN, check these providers out. If you've enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing, and thanks once more for watching.